So the next thing um, we're going to look at is uh, deforming pre-existing shapes or pre-existing <laughs> distributions um, with other shapes. Uh, then we'll look at uh, using Boolean, so having one shape uh, define um, the silhouette of our distribution. Default scene. Let's go through the... I've been doing. All right, so let's say um, make a path. All right, and then we'll make a shape. Okay, and say we want to have this star be deformed by this path, or even we want to animate this star along this path. How would we do it? So what we need is a new node called Pathfinder. All right. And then in Pathfinder, this is a little bigger. Um, so what we need is our input shape. So we're going to use our path. I just drag it in there. Right, and then we can use this as a deformer for our star. And if we go into our pathfinder, turn off loop, and we'll see how it goes. See, and you can actually even go past one, which is kind of fun. All right, so as I said, though, we can also use this to um, distort distributions or even create new distributions. So let's see, for example, what if we started with something like this? So I'm going to make a, a, a square, and then with my square selection, I'm going to all click a distribution. I'll set it to linear, make a bunch, spread them out. So maybe the X is a little narrower so we can see the separation. And then we will plug a behavior into Y. So let's see, add behavior uh, oscillator only in the Y channel. If we see it'll kind of pulse really quickly. So then let's go into our oscillator. We'll set it from one to three maybe. Let's see what that gets us. All right. Um, maybe we'll add a little stagger. Nicer. Right. So now we have the sine wave moving through our shapes. All right, then we will create a circle, which will be our deformer. Um, we'll make a pathfinder. We'll plug the ellipse into the Pathfinder shape. We'll use the Pathfinder to be a deformer, but now for the whole distribution. And then we get something like this, which is very cool. Now, right now, it's distributing, eh, it's kind of neat. It's distributing around the, um, the center of the circle, um, because it's it's making the um, distortion from the center of this form. It's bending this shape. 
So what I want to do is get everything to be on the outside of the circle. And to do that, I need another node called align. And I'm going to plug my align into my shape. And then in the align, I can control where I want it to align. See? So this we're going to be using this when we start making bar charts. And now with that selected, I'll make a circle again. Plug the circle into the pathfinder. And now Yeah, see, it's going on the inside. That's what's happening. Um, it's aligned to the edge of the shape. Um, if I wanted to flip that, what I could do is reverse the path. There we go. Now we're cooking. All right. Um, can just tweak this some more. I could make my, all of this is procedural, right? Everything is still live. I can make changes to my system and then have that change reflect, reflected um, in the form, which is the whole point of <laughs> this project. All right. Okay, the other thing that I wanted to touch on briefly is um, making silhouettes of these distributions. And there's many different ways to do it, but um, here's one that's kind of simple. So, uh, make a shape. Make this a triangle. Why not? Um, get a little smaller. With our shape selected, I'll click the distribution. Um, this one we'll make into Fibonacci. It's super fun. All right, maybe I'll make it a little bigger. Then I'll make a shape that will be the silhouette. I'll make the silhouette star a little bigger. I'll make a node called is within. Great, there it is. All right. Okay, we will take our is within and we will plug that into the visibility of our shapes. Shape visibility, here we go. Cool. 